basically you had a really healthy pregnancy, didn't you? Yeah, it was very easy. It I was... didn't even have morning sickness. Everything was very straightforward. I had my daughter full term. Even the whole, yeah, the whole process was just perfect. And so what happened when you took Natalie home? Well, nothing initially. That's one of the problems with group B strep. It, it, the symptoms are extremely modest. So there's things like crying, like fatigue, like normal baby things. Which sounds extremely it's... common. Yeah. Absolutely. Or so, issues feeding, for example. Yeah. So for several days, nothing happened whatsoever. Um, she got a little bit of jaundice, and you know that happens to a lot of babies. We yeah, took her yeah. to A and E, no problem. You know, normal level. And then on the fourth day, she started to perhaps have a bit more laboured breathing. So we called 111. They were fantastic. They said, look, we're going to bring her in in an ambulance straight away. Um, they brought her to hospital and she was put in a coma from which she didn't return. Oh, I'm so um, sorry. No, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, you were told, obviously, this was because of the Group B strep. Yeah. Had you any idea what those words even meant no. up no. until that point? No, and I think it's important to point out that while no one's heard of Group B strep, broadly speaking, apart from medical professionals, mm. you know, it, is, it does lead to things like meningitis mm. and pneumonia, and most people have heard of those things. Um, so ultimately, when she died, she died of Group B strep meningitis. Um, and, 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 you know, yeah, it, it's not heard of. And I think the fact that it's not heard of is why it flies so under the radar in terms of the testing. But, Dan, there are, there are screenings, there's tests in other countries, aren't there? Yeah. But there's just not in the UK. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, you, as you might have heard from Brigitte's accent, Brigitte is very much, you know, American. In America, they test. And I think in the UK, you're quite used to the idea because they spend so much more on healthcare. You know, there's, there's cancer drugs available in the US, but not in the UK. You know, this is not like that. This is an £11 test. It's available in the UK. It's available in Germany, France, most developed countries, you know, and even, even you know, emerging markets like Argentina and Kenya, you know, this is available. Um, and back, back then, I mean, when obviously that had happened, when you were pregnant the first yeah. time around, because I know you're pregnant now, congratulations, yeah, six months gone. Um, could you, you have had that test if you were to have known about it? For sure. Absolutely. So it's available privately for £35, and we'd encourage anybody to go and get that. It's available on www.gbss.org.uk. Mm -hmm. £35 is the difference between life or death. Um, once you get it, it's a very simple thing. You, it's a swab. You send it in. If you're tested positive, the NHS will give you antibiotics, and it will drop the likelihood by 85%. However, if, if I may just quickly... Yeah. If... if, if um, if you ask directly for the test from the NHS, that they will not give it to you in most cases. Can you take that, if you were to test positive with the virus, can you then take the antibiotics while you're pregnant? Uh, you take IAP during labour. Right, yeah, okay. So, so, so you'll, you'll get a sticker on your, um, yeah, you get a sticker and then they know that you need IAP during labour. Because it's two in five women that actually carry Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. strep B, isn't it? So it's... It's, it's, it's not uncommon at all. Really not uncommon. Mm. Yeah, but what, 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 what is disturbing is that, you know, over two-thirds of pregnant mums do not know about this no. condition. Mm. They're going to antenatal clinic, they're seeing doctors, midwives, obstetricians, and no one is discussing group B strep. Yeah. I would like every woman to have in the forefront of her mind group B strep, ask about it at the antenatal clinic. If you're offered a test, there are two tests. There's the NHS test, which is a very basic test, which is not as accurate as the test that Dan's talked about, which is called an ECM test, which is 90, 80 to 90% accurate. Some hospitals do offer the accurate test, some don't, but you really need the accurate test. And, uh, and this is a tier now. Some hospitals are allowing this on the NHS. And that's literally it. Yeah, mm. uh, uh, yeah, uh, and, and others aren't, so, you, you know, you may have to pay £35. But £35 to save your baby. Yes, Imagine, that's... it's the mother's own harmless bacteria that yes. have killed a baby. Chris, I know this is something you're very passionate about, as yeah. well as, obviously, Regita and Dan, but why don't the NHS... Or why didn't, should I say, the NHS offer this service when, obviously, these two needed it the most? Yeah, well, you know, this has been argued over for years and years, and uh, the sort of final statement is that um, the, the national screening people say that there's not been done... There's not, there's not been a large enough trial, uh, blind crossover trial, to prove that this works. However, if you look at statistics, um, the... Um, 
uh, you know, the, the, the test is available in all these countries that Dan's mentioned. And you know, w w when they introduced group B strep testing, mm -hmm. you know, the, the rates fell by 86% in those countries. That's and huge. in this country, there was a, um, a study in 2006 where they tested pregnant women, those who were positive were given the antibiotics mm -hmm. going into labour, and the, there was a reduction of group B strep by 83%. That just sounds... Mm -hmm. The evidence like is there. Yeah. They, they then subsequently removed that hospital trialling that and the rates went straight back up that's to where right. they were. They have been in touch with So it's with extremely us. intuitive. And, and one of the things as well that's often bandied around is the cost. Yeah. But £11, 11 pounds per person, yeah. you know... I mean, it sounds like a complete no-brainer. The mm. Department of Health and Social yeah. Care, the spokesperson, yeah. uh, gave us a response. They said providing women and their babies with self -care, uh, safe care is absolutely vital. We have asked the National Institute for Health Research to look into trialling universal screening for Group B strep against the current system and hope to be able to announce the outcome shortly. Yeah. That, that's 2023 when that's due. And, 2023. And we and we have we have numerous case studies from many different countries. So look, we can wait five years, but <sighs> really we know the answer. Now. Brigitte, I want to give the last word to you if I can. I mean, every, every parent's worst nightmare, what you've been through, and yeah. by God, we feel for you. What would be your your parting message now to viewers at home that are pregnant that maybe had no idea about this, like you know many people do? What would you want to say? Please just go out and get the test. I mean, I know for some people that 35 pounds is a lot of money, but instead of buying that extra baby outfit, do something that can actually save your baby's life.